Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me. Got a project I know you guys are excited about. And so am I, I just came up with this idea a couple days ago. They are crochet canning jar granny squares. Uh, actually a very simple pattern and I am just using some <clears throat> appliques um, and just a few little embellishments to bring these little jars to life. Um, so many color combinations. I'm using worsted weight yarn, so they don't take a lot of yarn. So use your scrap yarn, use any kind of worsted weight colors you have on hand. To be honest, this is a mixture of um, Red Heart Super Saver, Bernat Super Value. I think I have some Red Heart with Love mixed in here. Um, and on top of it, I feel like you know, just the plain squares look cute too. So uh, you could leave them like this. In fact, the back side is going to look that way on my uh, blanket when I stitch these together. Um, so yeah, you can do that. You can leave them blank or, you know, um, get some of these appliques. Some come bigger than others. These are iron-ons. I got them on Amazon. I'll leave the link. Um, I like the smaller ones because they fit on the jars so nicely with the little label. Uh, but you could just glue them on like this, or, you know, crochet some little fruits to put on, um, up to you. All right, but let's get started. So obviously, you know, choose your colors. Oh, and I have to show you before we start this cute, oh, ball jar, canning jar. So cute, right? Um, this is just, I just cut this out of paper. Um, I honestly would like to have a, I don't have a Cricut maker, but I have a friend who has one. So I'm hoping to get um, a vinyl sticker of that printed out and I can remake this square, but this will work for now just to show you guys. All right. So for the demonstration, um, I think we're going to do cherries. I haven't done a cherry one yet. So I'm grabbing Red Heart Super Saver yarn. This is color uh, burgundy and this is perfect pink. So I think that's going to go well here with my um, little iron on that's going to go in the middle. So um, let's grab a size H crochet hook and let's get started. Um, starting with um, the jar in the middle. So um, starting with the darker color, you are going to go ahead. Oh, clip that end off there. We are going to go ahead and make your slip knot around your hook and we are going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now in the third chain from hook, we are gonna make a double crochet. And then we're gonna double crochet in each stitch until we get to the end. So, all these double crochets, you're gonna have five double crochets. And then in the last one, Okay, in the last one, we're gonna make four double crochets. And now we're gonna go ahead and work on the other side of our chain. We're gonna make five double crochets. Oh. There's one, two, four and five and then four double crochets right in that last chain okay and now we're going to join to our first double crochet we're going to chain two and we are going to double crochet in the first five. One, two, three. Come on. Four and five. All right. And now we're going to make two double crochets in the next four stitches. So, one, two. Another two, another two, two more. Now we're gonna make 
double crochet in next five. Now two double crochets in those last four stitches. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's okay if you feel like it's curling up a little bit because it'll all kind of flatten out as we keep going. All right, so we are gonna join to that first double crochet and we are gonna go ahead and chain one. We're gonna make a single crochet in the first seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now we're gonna make two single crochets in the next six. One, two, three, And 12. Single crochet in the next seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now two single crochets um, in the last six. One, two, three, four. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that brings us to the end. We are going to join, but at this point, you can fasten this off. And we're going to go ahead and join in that um, second color, the color that your background is going to be. All right, let me just get some yarn going here. My yarn keeps pulling on me when I'm trying to crochet on the video. All right, um, so we're gonna join in, we're gonna chain one, okay. Chain one, and now we're gonna make a half double crochet in the first eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are going to make two double crochets plus a chain one plus two more double crochets in the next. And that's gonna be our first corner. So one, two, all in that same stitch. Chain one, two more double crochets. Okay, so we have our corner. Now we're gonna half double crochet in the next eight, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're gonna make another corner, which is two double crochets, a chain one, two more double crochets, all in that same stitch. Now we're gonna make nine half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're doing another corner. So two double crochets, a chain one, two double crochets on that same stitch. Now we're gonna make eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You will notice there's two stitches left. So we're gonna make one more corner, double, two double crochets, a chain one, two more double crochets, and then we're gonna make a half double crochet in that last stitch. And we're gonna join, we're gonna chain two. I just wanna stop and show you this now. And start to kind of spread it out a little bit. You're gonna have nine half double crochets on the sides 
eight half double crochets along the bottom and your four corners. So now we're kind of smooth sailing. Um, this is um, where it gets really easy and we're just gonna go ahead for round five to double crochet in each stitch, except for in the corners, we're gonna make those two double crochets, the chain one and the two double crochets just as before. So let's just go ahead and start making those double crochets all the way around. Until we get to our corner where we're gonna do those two double crochets, chain one, two more double crochets, and continue on your way. Just making double crochets all the way around each stitch. Don't even bother to count. You can if you want, but no need really. I just want to show you where we're at there. in another corner, chain one, two more double crochets, all right, those double crochets all the way around until we get to the end, we have one more corner, Just have a couple more stitches until we are ready to join. Now you can leave it like this. I like to do one more. Um, I'll show you this one. I like to do one more round just of single crochets to make this border really nice. Um, so really easy. Just like we did before, but you're gonna just gonna be doing single crochets in each stitch. And then when we get to the corners, I will show you in one minute because we're almost at that first corner. I like to do two single crochets and then I like to do a chain two on this one just to make that corner really crisp. See how that makes a really nice edge there? And then just keep single crocheting around. corners Join. Let's lay this flat. 
see how it kind of stretches that out a little bit in the middle and makes that nice jar, mason jar type look for your canning jar there. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the top and the little label portion. So let's see here. I'm just grabbing some, I don't know, a little bit of neutral color yarn. This is Erin, Red Heart Super Saver. And to do the little label, we're gonna go ahead and make our magic ring. We are going to chain, let's get all this yarn away there. <laughs> magic ring, chain one. Inside the ring, we are going to do two single crochets, three half double crochets, two single crochets, three more half double crochets. All right, we are gonna pull tight. We're going to join to that first single crochet. We're gonna chain one and just one more round here. Uh, two single crochets in the first three stitches. Yeah. Then we're gonna do two half double crochets in the next two. And then we're gonna do two single crochets in the next three. And we're gonna end with two half double crochets in the last two. We are going to join. We're gonna fasten that off, leaving fairly long tail, because remember you gotta stitch this on. It's that gonna be all right let's make the little top uh, you could use kind of a gray or a silver I have this brown color uh, the little jar tops really easy we are gonna go ahead and make that slip knot on our hook we are gonna chain seven two, three, four, five, six, seven. we are gonna make two single crochets come on yarn work with me here Two single crochets in the second chain from hook. One, two. We are gonna single crochet all the way till we get to the last. And we're gonna make those two single crochets right there in that last chain, if I can get there. Okay, you can see it kind of curves a little bit right there where your starting chain is. We're gonna fasten that off. Don't forget to leave kind of a long tail. All right. Yay. So you're gonna have your top. You're gonna to have your label. You can get one of the little appliques to put there. Um, I'm not gonna stitch the whole thing together right now, but I do wanna show you a little trick. Let me just um, weave this in real quick. Um, just let me leave this loose end in because I want to show you guys. When you are stitching your little embellishments on, um, here is what we're going to do. Or here's what I like to do. So it doesn't show through on the back side. You're going to work basically halfway into these stitches. So make sure your hook. I mean, sorry, not your hook, your tapestry needle, goes between the stitches, not all the way through, just between them, okay? And come back up. I always like to work kind of under those tops of the single crochets. You could even kind of just, as you're trying to stitch this on, just kind of lay it flat, kind of peek under, make sure you're working in between those stitches, working your needle back through. I just keep doing this all the way around until it's stitched on, okay? So obviously you need to weave in these loose ends too, but see how it doesn't show, show through on the back side? 
All right, so I think you guys get the hang of it. I just wanted to show you the basics of the pattern. Of course, this will be on repeatcrafterme.com. Lots and lots and lots of cute ways to customize these canning jars. Look at that honey one. I'll be sure to leave the links to everything. Thanks, thanks for watching. Repeatcrafterme.com.